हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्टडी विद प्रदीप्त टुडे आई विल डिस्कस वीक 9 असाइनमेंट 9 आंसर्स ऑफ द कोर्स क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग विद द प्रूफ सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू गेट सम हेल्प आफ्टर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो आई विल अपलोड ऑल द असाइनमेंट आंसर्स ऑफ दिस कोर्स इन दिस चैनल सो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर द वीडियोस विद योर फ्रेंड नाउ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर फॉल्स आर द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज फॉग एंड एज कंप्यूटिंग आर सब्स्टिट्यूट्स फॉर क्लाउड कंप्यूट द सेकंड ऑप्शन इज फॉग एंड एज कंप्यूटिंग में एड क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इन ओवरकमिंग लाइक लेटेंसी इशू so here you can see that fog and edge computing may aid cloud computing in overcoming this limitation so which limitation that is latency is so option b is true and option a is false so option a will be the answer of question number 1 now question number 2 which of the following is not a layer of the cloud computing environment model so if you see that then you find cloud fog environment model typically is composed of three layers a client layer a fog layer and a cloud layer so client layer fog layer and a cloud layer so serverless layer is not a layer of the cloud fog environment model so it is the answer of question number 2 now question number 3 in the cloud fog environment model servers contain a flock server manager and virtual machines to manage request by using dash technique so the answer will be server virtualization now here you will find that fog servers contain fog server manager and virtual machines to manage the request by using a server virtualization technique so it is the answer to question number 3 now question number 4 the architecture used for resource management in fog edge computing is classified on the basis of which the which of the following so if you find here that resource management approaches then you can see that Uh, the fog or edge computing are classified on the basis of data flow control and tendency but here tendency and data flow is given but control is not given so tendency and data flow will be the answer of question number 4 now coming to question number 5 which of the following underlying algorithms is used to facilitate fog or edge computing so here you will find the algorithms that are discovery benchmarking load balancing so Discovery, load balancing, and benchmarking will be the answer of question number five. Cache flow will not be the answer of question number five. Now coming to question number six, dash is a technique in which a server, an application, and the associated data are moved onto the edge of the network. So the answer will be offloading. Here you will find offloading is a technique in which server, an application, and the associated data are moved onto the edge of the network. So offloading will be the answer of question number six. Now question number seven. Cloud federation is the collaboration between cloud servers service providers to achieve which of the following choose the most appropriate options so the answer will be capacity utilization interoperability catalog of the service insight about providers and sls so capacity utilization and interoperability will be the answer of question number 7 that is option a and option b now question number 8 which of the following is false about loosely coupled federations now here you will find the first option limited interoperations between cloud instances so limited interoperations between cloud instances so it is true it is not the answer right now option b that is usually no support for advanced features so there is no support for advanced features okay for loosely coupled federations so it is also true that is option b now option c uh, advanced control over remote resources now here you will find the csp has little or no control over remote resources but here it is written that advanced control over remote resources so it will be false that is option number uh, c now question number 9 in which of the following different csps establish an agreement stating the terms and the conditions under which one partner cloud can use resources from another so here you will find that partially cloud federations under which one partner cloud can use resources from another so partially coupled federation will be the answer of question number 9 that is option b now question number 10 hybrid architecture combines the existing on premises infrastructure usually a private cloud with remote resources from one or more public clouds to provide extra capacity to satisfy peak demands periods so it will be true if you notice that hybrid architecture combines the existing premises infrastructure with remote resources from one or more public clouds to provide extra capacity to satisfy peak demand period if you get some help from this video then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all the further videos i will upload in this topic thank you for watching this video